Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering here demonstrating the uh, TL Cool 2 second generation turret cooling uh, valve for Haas TL series lathes. So this, so what this does is it allows you to distribute your coolant flow to the active tool station uh, by, by way of a four to one valve. And the valve is actuated by this Tommy bar, stainless steel Tommy bar, uh, connects into your existing coolant station with a push to connect connector. This is, whole system is very easy to install. It's also easy to remove when it's not needed. Um, it mounts on the side over here. Uh, it comes with a side mounting plate uh, with a vertical adjustment on the stainless steel Tommy bar support. The Tommy bar does not um, interfere with the turret's motion in any way except for apply the torque necessary to rotate the four to one selector valve. And so here's an example of this uh, turret indexing. Let's go ahead and index forward. This is a typical setup with four stations. The kit comes with all four um, coolant stations. The coolant stations are in a ball swivel, so they can be swiveled to aim where you want them. It's a very firm fit, which is what you want because you don't want these to be easy to, to push out of location, uh, especially if you have stringy chips or uh, steel chips are the worst because they'll push on a uh, coolant nozzle and these are very firm. The coolant stations also rotate on their location and they're symmetrical so they can be flipped over. Uh, the coolant stations mount into the existing grub screw holes. Uh, now you can still use that grub screw hole uh, for to, to clamp your tool. So what you do is you remove the uh, Haas uh, supplies these with these you know, extra long one inch grub screws. So you remove that. The kit comes with uh, uh, four short grub screws, half inch grub screw, which is more than enough to captivate a three quarter inch shank tool, but also leaves enough thread up here for the uh, stations to mount into the turret. And all the hardware is included in the kit. Um, the selector valve is very easy to remove and and uh, and install um, for there there are two types of turrets that this will work on there's uh, a type that has a, a counterboard hole a one and a quarter inch counterboard hole in the top of the turret and um, there's also some that have a dust cap turret this will work with either type for the counterboard hole there is a clamping screw and a clamping mechanism so it doesn't interfere with your king bolt um, you place this on there and then tighten tighten this uh, screw and it pulls in and clinches against the top of the turret. For the um, dust cap type turrets, these four screws around the perimeter of the valve assembly are in the same location as your dust caps uh, four screws and the kit comes with, uh, with four long screws to screw this assembly onto the top of your turret for those who have the older dust cap style that is. Um, let's take a look at this working in action. Here's a typical setup with a typical uh, cutter on there. If, uh, if the coolant comes on, then you can see it go to that station, but it does not go to any of the other four stations. Um, I can index the turret. Let's go ahead and index the turret and then coolant back on. And now it's directed to the only to the station that you want and not to the others. Let's go ahead and do that again. Here's an example of a, a boring bar tool holder. And in this case, um, the kit comes with a uh, extra tall screw with an extra half inch extender for, in some cases, if you have tall tools like this one here, you can get above the tool that way. And then this, this is enough room to clear under the Tommy bar. Um, you wouldn't want to go any higher than this because you don't want anything to collide with the Tommy bar. The Tommy bar uh, will also, it's far enough back that during startup it will not collide uh, with your uh, tailstock if you have the tailstock. However, you know, as normal, whenever you do a power up, 
you want to you know watch what's going on to avoid collisions so uh, do be careful about that um, let's see here so um, this uh, these are all very firm the kit comes with uh, with 50 millimeter 70 millimeter 80 millimeter and 100 millimeter uh, nozzle tubes these are all stainless steel here's a 50 millimeter tube there's four of those in the kit you get four 70 millimeters four 80 millimeters uh, rather two 80 millimeter tubes two 100 millimeter tubes and again these are these are firm in here but if you need to swivel them it'll swivel to any position uh, very flexible and that combined with the fact that this whole station will rotate or can be located on any of the uh, five holes on any of the four corners of the turret uh, gives enormous flexibility these are also symmetrical so you can turn them upside down if you need to get get it uh, you know at your tool from a different angle uh, and this really lets you get a nice setup uh, the TL1 is an excellent lathe um, and very capable of automation but minor details like this make a big difference when you're trying to get a uh, uh, an automated setup that's reliable uh, that's uh, Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering these are available soon on uh, MatthewsEngineering.com that's www.M-A-T-H-E-W-S-E-N-G-I-N-E-E-R-I-N-G.com thank you